Here we have a Bachman unit and I'm demonstrating our control, our slow speed. There's about, we can crawl along pretty good with that. Here I'm using this here controller. Gradually speeding up. Slowing down a little. Uh, that's a pretty slow speed there um, using this control unit. And then uh, for direction, it's this right here handy switch. There we go. Slow it down a bit. See how slow we can go. Well, there's some pretty slow speed there. Um, for a Bachman, um, this looks pretty darn good. And we'll speed it up a little bit. And then we can use show you this brake. What happens when we depress that button. It gradually slows down and comes to a stop. Let it go. Picks right back up again. Okay, here we are with the Bowser unit, and very nice control with this handheld walk around. for two, two control units and uh, this is the part that's mounted on your around your layout somewhere and these are the AC transformers and uh, there's one for each cab and uh, just some extra jacks and stuff and of course there's some uh, pretty good instructions that come along with it so that's that and this is the other part here and this is the this is the walk around controller part of it here. So it looks real nice, real sturdy material. I see it's got a brake, your speed control, um, forward and backwards. And then you just, you can put a couple ports around the layout and just plug one of these in here there. You can see how I had everything planned out. And uh, I had a square piece of uh, hardboard and I just drew it all out and made all the cuts and ended up with uh, with what I'm going to use here for a box. And we got a top and it's going to be up against the back. And then we have the two here sides. Here I have the uh, box put together and I used some scotch tape to kind of hold it. And then I just used some uh, construction adhesive and uh, cocked it on and I guess this part is going to be hidden so it's not that big a deal how nice it looks okay this is where the transformer is going to go okay we got the base station completed and here's our hardboard box and this is one of our base units um, you can see there's uh, six connections for each unit and the marking made it very easy for uh, the hookup and um, as you can see I got the holes pretty good I'll have to screw these in to attach them but um, there we go with our base case base station and I put the whole system on an on and off switch And then to run a base station, um, just flip the switch on. You can see the indicator light came on. And here is the walk around unit. You know, I got one hanging up over there. But um, here's a close up. 
and you can see it's got a break forward and reverse speed control and then uh, when you have it turned on plugged it in plugged it in there and then you can see the light will come on here there when the power goes in here is one of the stations for the remote hookup and uh, you can keep your unit hanging on right there and um, I'll just pull this out it's just a couple of holes drilled in the fascia and there you can see the wiring it's simple wiring um, one of them lists the different places where they hook up and they recommend 24 gauge wire or greater and I just I had 18 gauge wire for everything here that's what I had on hand so I thought I'd go with that and I'll get these back in the hole uh, Woody's crying anyway there we go and then this is for the this unit and you can see again as I turn it on when the power comes in there the light comes on okay here's the guy that runs the show around here it's little Woody look at the camera Woody here he's in the train room here we can see some of the layout he's the king